Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of Insane Difficulty. And so far we are doing quite well. Act 2 has been kind to us. I like the fact that uh, you do have one of the main characters and a lot of uh, yeah, additional characters each run. This time we're going in with Michaela and uh, either Quincy, the tank, or our scout. And we gotta uh, secure a couple of a couple of new gear. So the question is, should we go in with a scout or not? And that's a good one. I have no immediate idea. I mean, the tank is great, typically for rescue missions, though we might need a little bit more mobility. Let's try it with the tank and um, uh, with uh, the heavy and see how things are progressing. I might be wrong, but the Overwatch is still really good. Eyes open, feet apart. Elbow in. Gotta say, they're starting to look like gears. Yeah, I think we put a little spine in them. What the hell did you do? Three of my people just deserted. Oh, maybe a little too much spine. Oh, we'll form search parties. Go after them. Michaela. They're not just your people anymore. I'm just realizing every single male in this game looks jacked as as hell. Either steroids are part of their core diet. Look, I don't like future. doing things the cog way either, but not even Sid's as harsh as a grub torture pod. The locusts took our runaways captive nearby. Let's bring them home. So either they pop steroids like candy in the future, or they must have a pretty hard world regimen. Here we go. Good. We got a torture Damn. port to the right Just and torture pods. port to the left, and a Grubs couple of hammer uh, hammerhead Kill timer zone. Uh, so hustle. protecting if we're slow, each. Our people die. One out of three. Is it one out of three? Yeah, uh, three rare cases as always. Got the heavy torture port there. Another case there. And a second torture port there, and yeah, unsurprisingly, another case there. So you can either go uh, through the right hand side and then back up the left hand side or the left hand side and then to the right hand side. Let's start with the left hand side in our case. The grubs were pretty far away, right? Yeah, okay, yep. so they can't really hurt us, Stand which means by. we can and should charge out as far as possible. Only 15 turns for this adventure to go through. Good. Very good so far. Alright, what's happening? <laughs> the enemies are fantastic. Exploding enemy and will move when fire dead. Well, the will move at fi uh, when fire dead is nasty because you would want oh, to kill them Just right away. A pack of walking landmines. Don't let those tickers get close. Okay, I assume they are a one-shot kill if they are getting moving. Any, uh, anywhere sight. close to your Let's position. Whether they like it or not. We're taking full cover. Uh, 
I think the car is in the way, so can't really do much there, but yeah, we can certainly hey. hold that angle. No clue how far the ticks are going to move in. Jack, however, will be moving in and trying to get uh, through that pot here. Enemy movement! Okay, so they move from here all the way to here. That's okay. It's it's not too problematic, not yet. Let's take the other side. Sure thing. I'm listening. Oh, we are definitely going to Overwatch here. <laughs> And Jack continues to move and move and move. And then just is going to hide. Okay, well that tick here is a problem. The guy he over here is Ready. even more of a problem. 83% chance, 62. Okay, well. <laughs> Providing an aura. Appreciate it, Jack. Yes, you can appreciate that. And making ourselves invisible. Later, Jack. And moving away. So far, so good. Jack is doing fine. Let's get that uh, these extra uh, attacks. Okay, first shot is solid hit. Let's try to interrupt this guy here. Gonna need some ammo. Did not interrupt yet, but we can continue with killing him. Oh boy. Okay, well. Let's start to interrupt his overwatch. Fantastic, that worked like a charm. And we're down to the sidearm. I hated that our fast fingers missed that is that was really unfortunate are we reloading potentially the right call the other option is just to get him down 60 percent chance yeah let's try that i was trying to clean up the battlefield here So, can we throw the grenade in a way that both of them will suffer? Nope. We can certainly throw it in a way that one of them will suffer. Apparently not both of them. Not enough explosion radius and they are, well, almost enough explosion radius, but 
they are too far apart from one another. Are we going to waste a grenade for that? 300 hit points. There's a 50-50 to immediately kill this guy. The explosion radius is quite large though. Eat dirt and okay. die! And now we're anchored. Unfortunately can't really get this guy unless we're using a grenade. It's a bit wasteful. But I don't want him to move up and then take, uh, uh, essentially shoot us. Instead, we'll continue to overwatch and eventually we'll get the tick. at our situation we are time for a reload hunk it down can't really break the overwatch here gotta deal with this guy but Ready. first we gotta deal with the other side and those ticks are turning out to be a bit more annoying than I would have thought They are quite nicely keeping us on our feet. And stay down. And the problem that I'm seeing is the heavy, although he can deal with all of the ticks, is on it. Actually being quite suppressed over here. We're opening the pot now that could spill disaster. So it's almost inevitable that we're going to take some damage. It's just a question how much. Good assist, Jack. Jack close. Don't want to hurt Jack at all. Going out. That shot hurt us, but luckily we had damage reduction. <laughs> and we're keeping the left flank more or less safe. are gone. Kill clock's ticking on our people. No loafing. You hear? Ten Waiting more up. turns. Uh, that's not going Moving. to look good. Let's see. It's, is this your high ground? Kill. Okay, Jack can uh, start to hopefully open uh, the kill pot in a second. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we will need all the help that we can get, which in this case means... Yep, let's just get all of the ability points. Uh -huh. Should have done that after opening the pot, to be honest, because I think when the pot is opened, we're just getting one action point.
Wilco. They won't get past me. <laughs> yeah, okay, so the action, uh, the, uh, the port can only be opened from that other side. That's interesting. One, two, and let's hide. Okay, should be enough uh, enough hit chance when the guy moves in that we're actually going to hit him. And by the way, almost killed him. Let's kick some ass. Uh -huh. We're aggressively moving in. No more defensive play now. <laughs> and we need all of the extra APs that we can get. Because I think we're already six turns in. We got you. And listen. Got another heavy Give the now. Cop one more chance, okay? Gabe's a good man. I'll handle Sid. Yep, six turns in. That's the problem. <laughs> Moving up. Yeah. Good, we're getting that in those sweet, sweet extra AP. And are eventually rushing even further. So far that worked out well. And... What? Three berserkers? Oh boy. Locust! Shake off the cobwebs, because we need your firepower. Let's get this done. Eventually, the amount of hit points that we're, uh, that we're fighting through is increasing every single time. Doing good, Jack! Alright, Jack moves up here to give everybody that sweet, sweet coordinated bonus. 20% uh, damage and 5% accuracy. That's not bad. I like it. Seems like a perfect time to give everybody accuracy. Very good. All right, let's force them to stay right there. Two of them are suppressed, okay. Kill, not yet. So let's hurt him a little bit more. Well, never mind. That was a kill. Who's next? I said a critical strike. It seems that if you're uh, when you're drawing cooldowns, you can actually chew through quite a few hit points. That was 4,500 hit points right there, and I, I wouldn't say we made it look easy, but I was honestly expecting 
more resistance from these guys. Jack moves up further. Alright, there are grubs over there. You gotta be a bit careful not to move too much in into the open. Wilco. But they can't I think they can't hit us from there, so we should be fine. And the extra action point is, is actually quite helpful. We're looking at super low hit chances. Let's move up. Ready. On it. And let's start to overwatch. I would like to cover this here, just in case they're trying to move to the right hand side. Appreciate it, Jack. Okay. We made some good ground. Uh, not good. Couple of hits, couple of misses. We made some uh, really decent ground. I, I was afraid about the timer, but uh, the last round actually worked out well in our favor. Says that and immediately takes a shot on Jack. like to go up here but unfortunately that's covered quite nicely Jack gets his little sniper aura going and let's wait because we could use some reload Fighting up the stairs is a problem. Can't really hit anything. We could move into here and then get extra action points and I think that's what we're going to do Heavy reporting in. we're almost out of ammunition so might as well use the reload now and Jack is going to hide afterwards we gotta play this aggressive if if we want to move on elsewise it's going to take a while Later, Jack. okay there's pod number two so we're moving in Along with a mob of grubs. Unfortunately, a lower chance to hit than I would have expected to be entirely honest. Chain shot, however, gives us the extra AP. Still not a good chance to hit this guy. Why exactly is that, by the way? Obstructions, okay. Can't really hit anyone over there. Let's first of all take the other turns, shall we? Understood. Starting to move up. This guy is going down.
This is going to give us an opening. Go ahead. Still 38% uh, hit chance. I can't believe it. Some extra actions here. We're moving up. This guy seems to be heavily obstructed. Down to three hit points. Go ahead. Unbelievable. How's that? Good work. Stop. It's still obstructed. Hundred percent hit chance. continue to move on with even more hit chances now that's a relatively good chance to hit oh thank god well it was possible to clear it in one turn Just needed to play sufficiently aggressive with all of the classes. And we got a new objective. Standing by. All enemies within five meters gain the breach status. Allies uh, downed or, or killed breach enemies gain one action and heal 20%. Well, that's not bad. I like it. Intimidate. Okay, so she's completely intimidate. Uh, respect. You got it. Moving up. Standing by. And I think it's fair to say. Or just going to overwatch. I'm ready. Well, incoming. All right, what are we dealing with? A lot of ticks. These guys were nasty. And two berserkers, which and I must say were also quite nasty. Get to the APC. These grubs ain't taking anyone else today. Wilco. Moving over. And we're keeping the high ground here. Nice and easy. Package secured. Eventually jumping down. Jack begins to move over and will hide. Ready. And we are going to move through here, but we gotta be careful with all of those ticks. 
Setting up the perimeter. I suspect they will give us a good run for our money. Jack is just hiding for can. now. I got Overwatch. And we're overwatching. So far, the ticks have caused a bit of confusion with the other side. I'm not sure what will happen if just enough of these guys are starting to move up. This one here was clever. About damn time. Yeah. I see moving into cover. That's a solid kill. Back in your hole. Hey. Let's not take any chances here. Going, Back in your hole. Good. We gotta continue to hey. move. It's only a few more turns. Moving. Oh, there's another tick over there. Gotta be careful here. Can we stand up here? We technically can. I think just having two overwatch shots might be better. On it. <laughs> Careful there. And Jack is moving down. Plus is hiding. We're down to four turns. Okay. I'm on it. Moving as far as we can with two turns. Got it covered. And Go some Overwatch fire. Good, so two ticks are down, two more to go. I see him. Gotta get the show rolling. Yep. The move. Aggressively moving up. We're going to kill these guys uh, this turn. Okay, so the explosion deals a thousand points of damage, which also answers a few questions that I had. Fifty fifty to kill this guy, yes please. Drop terminated. Oh Who's nice, dead? said the critical hit. Okay, cool. I'm listening. So that very much looks like we can Welcome. just charge in and everybody else follows. I see the objective. Couldn't be better. Okay, very good. I think we've cracked the nut. Keep knocking him down. 
Yes, next turn we can just get out. So unless someone immediately comes in and kills all of us, we should be fine. Time to make a move. One. On two. Move. Three. Oh, and four plus a... Jack. And that was a clean mission. Took on, some damage. But okay. overall it we'll worked out well. Specifically open. kind of the fight Trust with me. the stairs was interesting. Where we basically friend. rushed upwards. Two additional grubs as mission rewards and quite a few rare cases. Love it. And that dig in ability, which we've seen, isn't too bad. I actually appreciate it. 25% hit bonus is good. Quite good. Mikaela got a promotion. I don't know why Jack is taking so long. To get a promotion. I mean, we can't kill anyone with him, so I would assume he's just going to take experience whenever uh, he participates, right? Sid, what can we do? 7% crit chance or a hair trigger? I think we're sticking with a hair trigger. Although, 7% crit chance isn't too bad. Hair trigger is only a 10% chance. Let's take the crit for now. 50 damage, like it. I think we're sticking with the accuracy bonus. Although, 175% crit damage is nothing to scoff at. So we could hire additional additional units, but for now I think we're fine. I mean, we got a scout, a heavy support, anything that we don't have as a sniper, a second one. And I think that's fine. We don't need a second sniper. I like the class, but it doesn't seem to be a class where you just field four snipers and then you've won the mission, essentially. Uh, accuracy bonus 7% is exactly what we needed. And finally some more damage on that sniper that was really much needed i felt the base damage of the weapon is a bit too low and i would also like to have more ammunition i would also like to have more ammunition but it is it fills a, a really important role right uh, where you can engage on that higher uh, distance which you usually couldn't do fast fingers would go down to three rounds and would also give us one action which is important i think that will make the ability much better first time unit moves in a turn gets 50 percent damage shots from higher elevation gain a 20 percent accuracy bonus that is important as well and if the target is down, unit gets maximum actions. So that's great as well. That higher elevation, that higher elevation might be better than I would have given it credit for. For now, I think we're going fast fingers and ultimate shot, but the 20% accuracy bonus is huge. When this unit uses reload on an empty magazine, this unit deals 25% damage for two turns or until reloading. That's not bad either. Yeah, I think we wanted all of the passive abilities. Uh, 
This one is a great passive ability as well, and the Alpha Strike is good as well. And we wanted Epiphany, I, I remember, because we wanted Chain Shot essentially to go down. We needed extra actions. For now, the biggest challenge is that she shouldn't be out of um, she shouldn't be out of um, ammunition every single time. And with that ultimate shot, we should be okay. Like that's chain shot plus ultimate shot and fast fingers now also gives you an action. So I can see that this can combo off quite nicely. Now we need the passive. Uh, mm, the passive modifiers that I was talking about. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, equipment is done quite fast in this game. If you enjoyed uh, what you have seen, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, that always helps the channel. And see you in the next episode of Gears Tactics. Bye bye.